Hey guys, it's me, Bat Grisham. Today I'm going to show you a gaming PC build for $500 for this holiday season. This is going to be a great starter PC build that will let you play at least every game you throw at it, assuming you lower the settings for the brand new games like Batman Arkham Origins and Assassin's Creed Black Flag. You can easily play them with over 30 frames per second at high settings at 1080p, and for older games like Skyrim, Battlefield 3, and Far Cry 3, you should be able to keep them on high settings with no issues. Older games will be able to run maxed out perfectly with the system, and this is mainly just an entry level build, so the specs won't blow you away. But this PC is upgradable, so you can always add on to the system. That being said, let's get started with the build. For the processor, I chose the AMD FX6300. This is a 6-core processor clocked at 3.5GHz, and it's actually very easy to overclock. Because this is a 6-core processor, and it's recommended for newer games like Battlefield 4 that take use of the 6-core design, more games in the future will be moving on to 6 cores. So this is an excellent processor to get started with. The FX6300 will run you about $110. For motherboard, I chose the ASUS M5A97LE R2. This is actually a great motherboard for this build, because it has enough RAM slots, a couple of extras, and is overall just a solid motherboard. That's only about $80. For the graphics card, I chose a 2GB MSI Radeon HD 7870. Now, I originally was going to go with the 7950, which was near the same price, but by the time I made this video, the prices have skyrocketed due to the whole Litecoin Bitcoin thing. This card is great for this build, can run any game you throw at it with decent settings, and it'll only run you about $150. Memory is rather simple, so I went with two 4GB sticks of G Skill Rip Jaws X Series DDR3 RAM. It's rated at 1833 MHz, which is plenty for all your games and some multitasking. RAM prices have actually been slowly going down again, so you can get two 4GB sticks for around $70. For hard drive, I'm going with the 1TB Western Digital Caviar Blue. A terabyte is plenty of space for your games, movies, music, pictures, and it should be a great fit for all your storage needs. You can choose to go with the 500GB Caviar Blue if you want to make the build cheaper and put some extra money toward the graphics card, but the difference between a 1TB and a 500GB is not that big in terms of money. Overall, the optimal hard drive is a terabyte, but it's your build, so do whatever you want with it. Caviar Blue comes in around $60. The power supply is the most important part of any build, because you need power to run your system. Remember to never be cheap with the power supply, as it runs everything, so make sure you pick a quality supply over a good sale price. My recommendation is the Corsair 500 watt power supply. It's 80 plus bronze certified, which means you get a high quality power supply and it can actually help you lower the power bill. You can get this for around $60. The optical drive on this PC is really irrelevant unless you want a Blu-ray drive, and mostly unless you use CDs, the only thing you're going to be using it for is to install the OS. I just got the cheap reliable reader and burner which is a light on. It's a simple and basic drive that will only run you about $17. Finally is the case. Once again, this is where personal opinion or general cheapness comes in. The case can be either what you show off to everyone, or you can just put it on your desk and forget about it. To keep this build moderately cheaper, but have some extras, I won the NZXT Source 210. This case is actually a really good quality case, with simple style, and it holds everything together, with some really good airflow. It's your build, so choose whatever you want to do in terms of a case, but if you just want a cheap, reliable one, you can get this for about $40. Well there you go guys, a great $500 build, that's a great starter PC that you can constantly upgrade. Now the price of these do change often, so I'll be leaving a link in the description to PCPartPicker.com. It's a website that you can make your PC build online, and you can see the lowest prices for the components that you need. That's it guys, so if you like this video, and you want to see more of them, click on the like button. we will have two other builds available, one for a $750 PC, and one for a $1000 PC. Click on the links in the video if you want to see some more information about them. And if you enjoy my videos, you can click here to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out, and it shows me that you want to see some more of my builds. I'll see you guys in my next video, and hope you have a happy holidays. Thank you.